Hi students, this is KL Naidu. Welcome back to our channel. Students, in this session now I am going to discuss about stoichiometry to marks. Stoichiometry to marks. Very very important students. These are plays important role in 60 by 60. Okay students. These two marks plays important role in 60 by 60 marks. Okay, students, now I am going to discuss Okay, students, let's start First one, what are disproportion reactions? What are disproportion reactions? So, students, disproportionation reaction means Example Example H2O2 gives rise to H2O plus O2. Okay, students. In this reaction, the oxidation state of oxygen is minus, sorry, minus 1 in peroxides and normal oxides minus 2 and elementary form 0. Okay, students. Clearly observe it. Okay, now in H2O to the oxidation state of oxygen minus 1 and H2O minus 2 and O2 minus 1. Okay, students, clearly observe it. Oxidation state of minus 1 to minus 2. That means it is reduction. Reduction. Next, oxidation state of minus 1 to 0. That means oxidation okay students minus 1 to minus 2 is reduction and minus 1 to 0 is uh, oxidation that means in this reaction same element okay and same element uh, get gets both oxidized and reduced okay students both oxidation and reduction so students clear, clearly uh, observe it these reactions in which one of the element which one of the element gets both oxidized and reduced are called are called disproportion reactions okay students okay next one what are comproportion reactions what are comproportion reactions Okay, students, let us observe. Az2 plus plus Az gives rise to 2Az plus. Okay, students, in this reaction, same element with different oxidation state. That means plus 2 and 0. Plus 2 and 0. Same element with different oxidation states forms single product single product with intermediate oxidation state with intermediate oxidation state so students clearly observe it my plus one is intermediate between plus two and zero so that is intermediate oxidation state that is intermediate oxidation state okay students clearly observe it same element with the two different oxidation states forms a single product with intermediate oxidation state are called comproportion reactions comproportion reactions okay students see the statement in these reactions two species with same element same element in two different oxidation states two different oxidation state form a single product with an intermediate uh, oxidation so students it is known as uh, comproportion reaction okay students next one okay please uh, note these uh, two marks okay students next one
Next one. The empirical formula of a compound is CH2O. Is CH2O. Its molecular weight is 90. Its molecular weight is 90. Calculate the molecular formula of the compound. Okay, students. In this, in this problem, he was uh, given, that means given data, given that empirical formula, empirical formula is CH2O and weight of, molecular weight of compound is, MW of compound is, compound is 90. So, now we have to calculate the molecular formula. Now, we have to calculate molecular formula. So, students, you know that what is the formula of molecular formula? Molecular formula equal to molecular formula equal to empirical formula into N. So, students, it is the formula of molecular formula. So, now we have to calculate the value of N. So, students, N equal to, that means number of moles equal to weight by molecular weight. Okay, students, weight equal to, weight equal to 90 and uh, empirical formula, molecular weight of uh, empirical formula, EF equal to carbon atomic weight is 12 plus hydrogen 2 plus oxygen 16 students. So, equal to 30. So, molecular weight of uh, empirical formula equal to 30. So, 3. 90 by 30 equal to 3 moles, 3 moles. Okay, students. Okay, now molecular formula equal to molecular formula equal to empirical formula. Empirical formula equal to CH2O and N value is 3. So, finally, we get CH3, C6, O3. So, students, it is the molecular formula. Okay, students. Next one. Note this. Okay, second one, bro. Second one, students. Next one. Calculate the volume of O2. Calculate the volume of O2 at STP. At uh, STP, required to completely burn 100 ml of acetylene. 100 ml of acetylene. Okay, students. What is the general reaction between acetylene and oxygen? First of all, uh, we know that uh, um, what is the relation between oxygen and acetylene? Acetylene, formula of acetylene is uh, C2H2 plus O2 gives rise to CO2 plus H2O are formed. Okay, students, in this reaction, 5 by 2 moles of oxygen is required. It is general reaction. It is general reaction. So, students, in this reaction, 1 mole of acetylene equal to 1 mole of acetylene equal to 5 by 2 moles of oxygen. 5 by 2 moles of oxygen. Next, 1 mole of acetylene gas occupies 22.4 liters. That means 22,400 ml equal to 5 by 2 into 22,400 ml. Okay, students. It is clear. Okay, next one. But uh, he, he asked... Oh, calculate the volume of completely burn of 100 ml of acetylene. 100 ml of acetylene. What is the volume of oxygen required? 
100 ml of acetylene is burnt with uh, oxygen question mark question mark or uh, take x that means uh, volume of uh, oxygen equal to some x okay students now take cross multiply x into 22400 ml equal to 100 into 5 by 2 into 22400 20, 2, 2, 2, ml so students 22400 and 22400 is cancelled okay next one 250s 100 okay therefore x equal to x equal to 5 into 50 equal to 250 ml okay students clearly observe it 100 ml of acetylene is completely burnt with 250 ml of oxygen that is the answer students okay it is also important to two mark students the problem is how many number of moles of glucose are present in 540 grams of glucose okay students given data that means given that weight of glucose equal to 540 grams and molecular weight of glucose equal to 180 therefore number of moles equal to weight by molecular weight that means weight of substance by molecular weight of the glucose okay 540 by 180 equal to 3 moles okay students okay next to third one next third one calculate the molarity of NaOH calculate the molarity of NaOH in the solution prepared dissolving 4 grams of 4 grams in enough water to form 250 ml of solution okay students solution given that given that first of all what is the problem okay students he he asked that calculate the molarity 4 grams of NaOH present in 250 ml of the solution okay students given that weight of NaOH weight of NaOH equal to 4 grams okay next MW of NaOH Na OH equal to sodium atomic weight 23 and oxygen 16 and hydrogen 1 equal to total 40. Next volume of solution. Volume of solution. Volume of solution equal to 250 ml. Okay students you know that what is the formula of molarity. Molarity is indicated by capital M, M equal to weight by molecular weight into 1000 by V ML, 1000 by V ML. So students weight of solute equal to 4 grams and molecular weight of solute equal to 40 into 1000 by volume of solution equal to 250. Okay students 250 force 1000. 4 tens finally we get 4 by 10 equal to 0 0.4 molarity 0 0.4 molarity so students it is the final answer okay students these are very very important uh, two marks problems and questions these plays important role in 60 by 60 60 by 60 okay students if you like this video please like share and comment and refers to your friends and please plus three press the bell icon thank you thank you very much